All right, we're back in action. This is your host, Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck, and we're live from White Diamond Billiards in Lafayette, Louisiana, for the Super Nine Ball Tournament. And we got a great match for you here. Final four of the winner's side, James Davis, my road dog for the trip here, and his opponent, George Breedlove, who followed us down from Indianapolis, Indiana, from the Brickyard area. And it's going to be a great tournament. Excuse me, great match, great tournament match. And uh, James has been on fire, won uh, 18 games in a row to finish out last night and uh, brought a lot of that back today. Came on strong this morning, beating, beating Justin Hall. And he's, he's, he's ready to go. Uh, Davis opening it up with a bank shot on the one ball here and he's got a shot on the two. Three seven uh, will have to be his next shot and he's got a little mess too with the uh, the four, five, and six. And he ended up uh, in a nice shape to shoot the three down the rail the other way. Take a peek at it from the other end. And uh, the four, five, six is one of the uh, side two now. Back Jack, do it again. Davis and shape on the seven ball. All right, right number one goes to James Davis, and he continues the winning streak. He How likes to win lots of games. How many games is this? One. No. Oh, in a row. Yeah, in a row. I'm not sure what his last match score was. Uh, you know, we were last. I was winning matches is so all, all, uh, all I, the information I have. <laughs> I know he's still winning because he's on the winner's side. <laughs> we need more runners. Yeah. We need some statisticians to keep us up to date so we can let everybody know what's going on. All right. Shane Winters and uh, Rob Saez are uh, playing right now. We can see that match and, and that score is currently 4-3 to three right now. 
I don't know who's got uh, four and who's got three. So you finally found a way that finally where found- you could out see me. I had to do something. You, know, you were eagle eye on those scores. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? You got a pair of binoculars, oh, yeah. everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that's funny. It's a wonder you didn't bring a spotting scope into the booth. Stop. Okay, Carl McClendon and Joey Gray are playing, and the score is currently one apiece. Looks like. And how about Shane Van Boning and Daryl Bickert? They just started as the first rack there on there. Daryl won the flip, and uh, he's sort of leading us off there. Wow. Almost like being at the U.S. Open with the talent and the view, you know? Just a little smaller tables, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Well, I, you know, I heard the, uh, the U.S. Open venue this year was kind of hard to see because, uh, 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 you know, everything being in different rooms. Yeah, I think they also are talking about, you know, changing that up next year. They need to. It was, uh, was not well received. All right, James rolls out for a. Um, a I'm not sure. Let's take see if we can. Uh, George is. Uh, What's he looking at? There he oh, he's got a full. He can hit the ball quite well any way he chooses. He might even try banking this ball and hold. You know? Yeah, it looks like it'll bank right between the seven and nine. I guarantee you. That's what James. Look, he's looking at it. And then he's got the two, four, nine, eight to, as a blocking force. In case he hangs it up or misses it. No, no love there. I don't caught it wide. And oh, uh, he caught love. <laughs> it, 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 the eight ball eclipsed the one ball from James's view. I mean, he can't even see it. I mean, I'm looking right down the lane. If Eight ball in the side pocket, two rails. <laughs> what else has he got? He's got a hammer this. It doesn't go. I'm telling you. Hey, watch the eight ball. There it is, two rails. Oop, only a foot away. Yeah, and he left George a shot on the one ball. This shot's got to be hit with a lot of force. He's hitting it so thin. Uh, if you use English, you may not have to hit it quite as hard, but uh, let's see. If he hammers it, he's liable to run into the eight, and who knows where the cue ball is going to go if he uses no side spin. He'll try and get down there, hide, or hide behind that two ball. Yeah, makes it. Reasonable shape, too. Just has to avoid running into that four ball. Well, I wonder if Jeanette Lee is watching this live stream, watching her husband uh, play uh, in this event. Well, there's a good, nice chance. To know. It's a good chance, but you know, uh, it's also a good chance she's got her hands full. George told me they had six kids now. <coughs> six kids? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah, and they, they've adopted us uh, multiple children, and that's, uh, that's a pretty awesome thing to, to do. You know, those, those two are really uh, some great ambassadors for the sport of pool. Well, got to George, not happy with that shot now. Nothing to be happy about there. <coughs> Once that big heavy cue ball gets spinning and rolling, boy, it doesn't like to stop. Oh, my. Wow. That reminds me of... Uh, match I lost with Jason Evans. I fired the nine in, in the corner like that and, and the cue ball went in the side simultaneously almost just like that. Oh boy. Sickening feeling. That was for the set too. I would have moved into the hot seat match at, at uh, high pockets with that shot. No kidding. Ray, you, you turn into quite the player. <laughs> oh, I have soft bracket. Well, we're going to have a little uh, rematch uh, with some even up nine ball, ten a game after the, after the event. No? Unfortunately, 
Now, I'll be hurrying home uh, after the event there. I'm going to get home as fast as I can because uh, tomorrow is my lovely wife's birthday. Oh, fantastic. Wish her a happy birthday for me. Thank you. I'll do that, Joey. Tell you what, I... I uh, I was walking past a, a mirror at the hotel there, and I took a look at myself. Oh my God, I gotta lose some weight. I called my wife immediately and told her I loved her. <laughs> Please don't get rid of me because I'm fat and old. <laughs> so we're uh, breed love. Uh, had a chance there. I overrolled that one shot, and that cost him. James Davis is not mad. He's up 2-0. James Davis Jr. wearing one of my favorite clothing companies hats, Under, Under Armour. Yeah, yeah. What? that doesn't look like an Under Armour shirt that I've seen. But uh, if you go online with Under Armour, they've got you know a gazillion shirts. I, I love Under Armour. That's what I'm wearing now. Yeah, it's, 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 it's great stuff. Yeah. You know, some material like oh, it's like a oh a polyester. Oh nice. yeah. Nice. Oh, it, it breathes. You know, you'll yeah. never get uh, right. you know. You don't ever start sweating with this. Yeah, well, polyester, if you do sweat, though, this, this shirt is designed to wick the moisture away from your body. Exactly. And allow you to cool down faster. Well, I've been sweating a lot in this event, you know, uh, with all the beatings that I've been taking, but the Under Armour's been keeping me cool and comfortable. Chris Miller and Ashley have put on another great, successful event here at White Diamonds in Lafayette, Louisiana. If you've never been to this tournament, uh, you know, it's always funny. Every time I come to this event, I meet new people who have come here for the first time. Right. And, you know, right. I was talking with Dana and his crew, and George Breedlove was with Dana and yeah, so forth. Yeah, and yeah, the gang from Indianapolis. Yeah, they, you know what they said? They want to come back. No, oh, they've had fun. That. Yeah. How can you not want to come back? I mean, if you're a player, this is the place to be. Oh, boy. Barely escaped that side pocket scratch. Got all the action you want with the players of all levels. Everybody gambles down here, too. I don't care if you're a B player or a, or a, a pro. You know, you're going to be able to find action here. Uh, they had a $20 per game nine ball challenge table over there. That's, well, it stayed busy uh, the whole time that I've, I've been watching. I heard one guy claim that he won 22 games in a row. Uh, I cannot say who that person was for reasons you understand already. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. <laughs> Let's uh, get us a little update. Is that 5-4 with Rob Saez and who is that other player now? Uh, it is 5-4 right now. That's that's Shane Winters. Yep. Shane Winters just snapped off the Brickyard Tournament last weekend. He won the mini tournament here, and he's still going. He's got to, um, I think he has to win. I think everybody's in the money now, actually. I think Shane's the one that knocked me out of the mini tournament last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. He plays good. Very straight shooting young man. Uh-oh. Trouble here. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Yeah. Bad trouble. If he could buy four more inches for $20, he, it would be a sale. No love. George, waiting for an opportunity. Jump this ball up in the air. He doesn't. What a very nice shot. Yeah, he left Georgia. Uh, uh, you know, a back, uh, back cut into the corner, but that's a tough one. That's about yeah. all he has, though, I think. Oh, he might be able to roll up on top of that three ball, shoot the two to that back rail, and freeze the cue on the three. Yeah, that looks on. Or, or just... Oh, shoot, go shoot. behind the four. Yeah, go shoot the, the two into the three. And yeah. just the cue ball over the four, and you'll have to hit that oh, early. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I, I think I like that. But he's going for the gusto. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, what? Oh, I thought oh, it was. Wow. It didn't look good. He, he used as no. much of that pocket as was allowed. You're not kidding. <laughs> And he stayed down on the shot, but missed it. You know, if he had Q in hand, and if he had listened to us, hit behind the four, had James kicking two rails or more, it would have been a completely different story. exceptionally long as well. Not quite as long as Shane Van Boning's bridge, but again, all of these players seem to, you know, the top players seem to have these long bridges. Similar to the Filipinos. Uh, you know, the exception might be Warren Kiamko. He seems to have a shorter bridge. Yeah, he does. You know, there was a, uh, a player from the Philippines that uh, had a, a, a different uh, stroke than the traditional Filipino, you know, uh, well, I thought Warren's like that. Warren just has his is totally different. Than, he doesn't have that pump up, wind up right, stroke. Right, right. Like, uh, I'm talking about um, Manalo. You remember him? Yeah, oh, Marlon whatever, Manalo. Whatever happened to Marlon? Uh, you don't, don't hear much uh, from him anymore. I don't know. Maybe he got deported. No, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't know. I think he, I think he was college educated, and um, so maybe he's in business of some type. Yeah. Last time I saw uh, Marlon was uh, at the Turning Stone Casino in 2007. He was there playing, and I, I played in that tournament. And uh, he uh, he signed uh, he autographed a, a T-shirt for my for my daughter. Oh, nice. Really nice guy. He, he has a traditional, I'll call it, you know, uh, Western style stroke. Western style. Yeah. I mean, it's not that uh, water pump stroke that a lot of the Filipinos have, you know? Yeah. Shoulder, wrist, elbow, everything gyrating. That uh -oh, was an uh -oh. incredible shot. Uh -oh. <laughs> incredible and very fortunate. I thought it was goners. Just, just a little wandering opportunity after opportunity. This gotta hit that way side of that. Let's see if he makes it. Oh. Shane Van Boning and Daryl Biggert are uh, looks like they're tied up right now at one apiece. Yeah, Daryl's already taken a, a break, a player's break. His first and, well, it might be his only break that he gets for this match. I think George has a shot here. This shot. Whoa. Like I said, you have to be careful. Not careful enough. 
George hasn't gotten it together in this match so far. He seems to be struggling. He's had some off-angle shots that well, hard to make some of those shots. And it just gets more and more frustrating as you continue to shoot them and get no reward. James comes to the table and, you know, a uh, few ball in hand and balls laying wide open. Yep. Sometimes Maybe it's your day. Yeah, leading 3 nothing right now, racing the seven. spin ratio there. Uh, the cue ball was traveling rather slow and when it hit that rail with the side spin, the side spin was amplified and brought him into perfect, near perfect shape on the six. Hit a little harder or cue ball moving a little harder, a little faster and it would have been an entirely different outcome. I haven't seen James Davis Sr. in any of these events. I used to see him and uh, his son uh, competing on a pretty regular basis. And Yeah, Bastrop doesn't get out a whole lot. Um, I, you know, I don't recall even seeing him over here at White Diamonds. He may have been over here one time. He, he since was here coming. once for sure. I remember him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, somehow I thought, it was, I thought it was two to one, but it's actually three to zero on the current score. I had that wrong. Oh, uh, my bad. It looks like it's going to go 4-0. James Davis is going to continue uh, taking folks down with very few games won. It looks like Shane Winters and Rob Saez are tied up at 5-5 with Shane Winters breaking. Racing the seven, everyone. There was some $700 game one pocket going on with the Smoothie King Prince and uh, one of the other local players. I think a handicap was involved. Diamonds. Getting late in the evening. No one wants to go home. Let's see if he squats his rock. Pretty good squat there. Not a whole lot of love. You can make this in the side pocket. Got some high energy music in the background there, right? Yeah, score is actually four to zero right now, and uh, trying to get it updated, but uh, having a few issues right now.
Chip Compton is up on Jesse Bowman five to three right now, racing the seven. One of our gracious runners, Doc Hutch from AZ Billiards, uh, just brought us uh, that great tad bit of information. Thank you, Doc. on the bar tables are brutal, 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 brutal. Kings. The Smoothie King Prince, his match is over with. Uh, he won two games at $700 a game, continuing his winning streak. 20,000 here, 30,000 there, 1,400 there. Come get you some. <laughs> he likes action, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Stays in action. Come to Buffalo Billiards anytime. You'll enjoy it. And if you give up enough weight, who knows, Kid Carl might play you some. George really needs a good break here. Right. Got a lot of movement, but one ball made. Well, this is a very this is a very runnable rack here. I think it's Biggest obstacle is getting shape on this three ball. After All right. that, it's Katie bar the door. Yeah, we get this. Uh, can't update the score just yet, but it is four to one. Well, it's five. It's uh, what? Wait a minute. I thought I thought George won that. That's what I thought too. But they marked the score five. To, it's five to zero. On the scoreboard. Am I, am I missing something here? Didn't George just win that game? I thought he did. I'm confused. Sure, he won that game. Uh, he had the uh, four and the five. Two balls down here at the end of the table. Well, the score is marked exactly like the players have it marked right now. Well, they have it marked 5 0. Do we have any responsibility to tell the players that uh, the, the uh, you know, the scoreboard uh, that their beads are marked incorrectly? It looks like the uh, the internet chat room is saying that uh, that he scratched in the corner. He oh. probably caught the cue ball. Oh, we, okay, we got sidetracked with yeah, the... Yeah, he probably so caught it and set it up on the table for James to come back. Oh, I see. So that's probably what happened. So we, we were both distracted at the time. Uh, Joey was getting updates from uh, uh, Doc Hutch, and uh, I was uh, handling some customer service issue on the, on the chat, so... Just saying that that was an opportunity for George to get back in this match, and I mean it was three balls there on the table, four, five, and nine. That was it. Yep, yep. Well, oh yeah, I mean we couldn't even imagine that he wasn't going to get out, uh, right? Well, we have to thank our internet audience for 
keeping us in the, the loop. Oh no, George. He had to hit that rail first uh, because of the angle that he got on the seven ball. So he hit it rail first and uh, didn't get there. And James Davis Jr. with a huge bonus. This will take James Davis Jr. into guaranteed third place. How about that one? Race in the six. Yeah, if he well, if he's got to win the match still, but I mean, if he wins this match, he's got he's going to be guaranteed third place. He's going to have a spot in the. Charlie Blanchard's watching this match. Uh, he was in the event yesterday. I think he took an so early the silver fox. Yeah, the silver fox. There was a little inquiry. I think he bought one of the horses that cashed in the tournament. And there was a little question that uh, we needed to ask Charlie. So maybe he'll call in to White Diamonds and let us know how he's doing. Yeah, I doubt he's watching. I think he's kind of low tech. Maybe somebody will know how to get old. True. Look at this. The ball's falling everywhere. Well, well as far as ball, as far as uh, knowing how to get a hold of someone, uh, if anyone has a contact number or any information on how to get a hold of Kent Berthelot, I would like to. Uh, I need to get a hold of Kent Berthelot, so uh, please um, get that to me if you know well, how to reach him. I would think Mike Black. <laughs> Excuse me, Mike Black knows how to. Well, that's what I would think too. But um, you know, I've had, uh, uh, I've asked numerous people from Baton Rouge, and I've yet to get Kent Berthelot's number. I really need to get in touch with him. I see Mike Black uh, directly to our left, about 15 feet from the booth. Great, maybe we can, maybe we can ask him. We'll wave him over if he looks this way. I think this match is over, and this is a 7-0 to get into the hot seat match. How hot is James Davis right now? James Davis has finished second place over here twice in this tournament, and he's yet to win it, and he is uh, he's ready to snap it off. So... Good shoot, man. Guaranteed third place. James Davis Jr. Gotta love it. All right. We're going to get that one to save and be right back with another one, folks. Stay with us. More action coming your way from White Diamonds. You have a real good selection down here at Emerald Billiards of pool tables, whatever you want to play on. Whatever your table, you got it down here, you know? Yeah, and also in Emerald Bay, you have the full bar. We have a full kitchen. We serve anywhere from finger food to steak dinners every night. We're known for our Emerald Burger. You can really enjoy yourself down here. If you want to come out and just shoot pool with your family one night, or you want to come out here and gamble, you'll find a game over here anytime you want. <laughs> 